Good afternoon on what is a cold, clear and uh, bright day. It is a balmy 4 degrees on what is Friday the 9th of December and I'm in the reading with a nice hot cup of tea. And a box, I'm just going to, I'm going to do essentially an unboxing of I'm not going to look at, at in any detail, just go through what I've got in here. So, um, this is a box which has come all the way from um, South Carolina, Cap South Carolina, thanks to my good friend uh, Keith Maju, who um, has handled the shipping and collation duties for any number of books. If I can just get this, it does not want to open. Um, Um, any number of books and games which uh, in many cases uh, are often difficult to get hold of here in the UK. There we go. So, opening up. Um, I pretty much guess that these, <laughs> that these aren't for me, um, but uh, uh, yeah, these, these are definitely... Um, for my partner. Uh, so first off, thank you Janelle. As my partner is a big fan of Night Over Before Christmas. Right, uh, so what else have we got in here? Uh, Hacking material, happy to see that. A couple of cards. Uh, so, you know. Um, Uh, uh, so I, yeah, with a message, I don't know what else is in here, so you never know. Um, but, uh, so what I've got in here is, first off, um, two copies of this. This is uh, Slaying the Dragon. I've already done an unboxing of this. I've already done a review of this. Uh, it's going on probably on my one of the sort of like one of the things you should have bought this year. It's a very solid entertaining, well-written history of TSR after Gary Gygax left and was bought out um, by um, Liz Williams um, and the Bloom Brothers. Um, at, uh, and one of these is for a friend, one of these is mine. Um, thank you, Ben Riggs, for getting them signed. Um, I don't know what that is, so I'm not going to open it. Uh, and then uh, beneath this... This package, um, this is quite battered, but what's inside is a copy of the Legacy Role Playing Game. Allegedly, um, I mean, published in 1978, one of the worst role playing games ever published. Um, I can't guarantee that, you know, uh, it's going to be any good. Um, the artwork is fantastic. I mean, I've, I've I have unboxed and reviewed uh, the reprint of Spawn of Fashan, which is um, brilliant in concept, terrible in execution, and, and deservedly an awful role-playing game. Um, this is nice and has um, terrible art. This is this is, has interesting art, um, but may well be awful. Um, you know, it's early early role-playing games written sort of like almost like a war game dense text um, but, uh, but again nice artwork but we'll see what else below that I have this um, this is a it is okay this is elf quest but uh, it's marked Thor it's a little bit different I don't know what's quite in here but if I open up I have um, whole stack of um I have a stock of little things so um these support um this little role-playing game 
which is Weird Heroes of Public Access, which is a role-playing game about running a public access uh, television. Because uh, obviously, tele television in the United States, you've got the various big channels feeding into local channels uh, or stations, and then you have public public access television, uh, which is both beloved and um, and 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 hated in equal measure. Um, but it does allow sort of like there's almost a democratic feature to it. So, like you can you can make a program and get on it, um, and um, to and this is a role playing game about that, which I thought was fantastic. Uh, the fanzine uh, Black Powder uh, Black Magic Volume Two is a design of six guns and sorcery. Difficult to get hold of. Finally got hold of a copy. Um, I got the first issue and really liked it. This is the next one. It's a, a, a Dungeon Crawl Classics. Um, uh, sort of kind of setting done as a fanzine. Um, Downtown of Zion, which is uh, a through Alt uh, Alton's Door fanzine. And then beneath this, I have a whole stack of notes. Now, allegedly, allegedly, what I've got here is um, things from. Um, I'm told Steve Perrin, I'm like Steve Perrin and his notes on, um, you know, Super World. But I've got to investigate this further to find out. Um, you know, so it's utterly weird. I grabbed it on impulse. It could be terrible. It could be interesting. Um, you know, it is an author's lost lot sort of gaming notes, um, and you've got parts from sort of like uh, the role playing game world of Wonder. Uh, it's a role playing game I really ought to dig out and look at. Um, so there's bits and pieces in there. Could be utter rubbish. Could be brilliant. Uh, so let's put that back there. Um, okay, what else have we got in here? Digging down below. Oh. I don't know what that is, so let's have a um, mysterious thing. Oh, and packaged, securely packaged up. I can't remember. Because uh, what happens is essentially there's a whole load of stuff that I can't get in out here in the UK. Um, and I want, and, and it's sort of like I'm interested in writing about it or looking at it, and so sort of like Keith acts as my uh, shipping handler, fortunately, and then collects it and then delivers it. Oh yes, uh, this is a sealed copy of Man, Myth, and Magic, um, which is a role-playing game, uh, role-playing game of Man's Greatest Adventure, published by Yakinto. Uh, and I will do an unboxing of that. Um, really fascinating role playing game back from the back in the day. Uh, so what else have I got in here? Keep diving, a bit of wrapping, uh, and then lastly, I have the Princess Bride role playing game. Now, um, Princess Bride is a fantastic film. Hugely entertaining, hugely informative with sort of like, essentially the genre and its humour, um, and they made a role playing game of it. And it never really went into didn't go into distribution, couldn't find it anywhere. And um, this came up on a reasonable price. Um, at, uh, um, at, uh, so yeah, um, you know, so you can do like fantasy with um, that very tongue in cheek style of um, uh, um, uh, uh, the, the film. You've got all the characters in the back there. Uh, so Buttercup, uh, Fezzik, um, and so on. Uh, so you could sort of like run this, you know, as using your own characters or, 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 or you know, playing the characters from the original film. So yeah. Um, very nice. So a box of bits and pieces um, that I will be looking at um, sometime next year. Um, gonna, you know, I'm not going to be sort of like looking at this here. There's still got a whole lot to work through. Anyway, first off, I want to thank Keith 
for um, his uh, um, uh, basically collect, collecting and collating these for me uh, and then forwarding them on. Do appreciate it makes things a whole lot easier. Um, and then um, in the meantime, to, I hope you have enjoyed this unboxing in the nook. If you have, then please do click on the like button down below. Um, at, uh, and if you've got any comments or feedback, I do appreciate you taking the time to post those. And lastly, if you want to be alerted to yet more unboxings in the nook, where I'll do proper unboxings, uh, unboxings and look at all of these in, in, in detail, um, at, uh, essentially where you will see me, where you will see me you know, take a box. Uh, and unbox a, a game or book and talk about it to the best extent of my knowledge for roughly 10 minutes or so all of course accompanied by a nice hot cup of tea then please do click on the like button sorry the subscribe button down below in the meantime thanks again for watching thank you very much to keith for um uh, being being my american warehouse um and um uh, I'll be back again soon with another unboxing in the nook. I'm going to go inside and uh, try and warm up my fingers. Thanks for watching. We'll be back again soon. Bye for now.